In today's video, we're going to be replacing these stock tail lights with some aftermarket depot tail lights. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Texas on the channel. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to be replacing the stock LED tail lights with some depots. Um, I like the stock ones. I tinted them black a little bit and cleared them. I uh, just, I don't think it looks as good as it could with the other ones. Personal preference thing. You may not think so, but this is how I think it'll look good. So I'm going to keep these as backups, but uh, we're going to take those off here in a minute. But before we do that, I want to show you what I did. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen that I redid the uh, headlights. They are now black housing inside. These are still the same stock headlights. I wet sanded the uh, yellow I had over the fog light spot off and painted the inside black. I didn't do video of it, I have a lot of videos of it. I'll put a link in the description of some of the videos where I've taken headlights apart and done this. Also, you can see in here where it's orange. It's still very visible when I turn the lights on. I'll show you real quick. So as you can see, the orange is perfectly visible still on both sides. Um, and the lights are bright. And you can also see someone requested that I paint the grill black. And I wasn't going to because I didn't want to. But I thought about it and it actually does look pretty decent blacked out on the front end. So I went ahead and did that. And the velocity stack I did remove as well. You can see down here. So the induction tube runs straight up to the supercharger uh, air filter. And it just gets fresh, cool air. But it's kind of stealthy without the velocity stack. So I might keep it like this. Or I might paint the velocity stack black. Put it back on. So that way it blends in. Uh, either way, it's getting fresh airflow still. But I really like the uh, blacked out front end. I think it looks pretty decent. But... I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the tripod and we'll open the box and get this put on the car. I will have a link in the description for this as well uh, in case you guys want to get some for your TL if you have a TL. Um, I really like Depot products. They're pretty decent uh, in quality and they definitely package well. The shipping wasn't, it didn't take very long either. So if my stepmom was still alive, she'd be terrified right now. She had an irrational fear, it's what I call it. She was terrified of these packing peanuts. We always made fun of her for it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all these out and then we'll pull the other box out. Well, as you can see, they like to uh, package their product very well, which is really good. <laughs> see so the only thing that it requires is that I take the four screws out that holds the LEDs in on my tail lights and transfer it over to this unit um, so that's not a big deal it's very easy to do now it does recommend putting a new gasket a new seal on both of them when doing so um, so definitely keep that in mind but yeah really nice quality and these are DOT approved so they say it right down there um, but yeah definitely depot tail lights so I'm gonna go ahead and get these out and then we're gonna take the ones on the car off okay so in order to put these in first we have to take the old ones out so behind this cover here there will be these eight millimeter uh, nuts holding the tail light on so we're gonna remove those eight millimeter nuts these are the tools you'll pretty much need. A deep well aid is preferred, but an 8mm nonetheless. Um, and then I have this, I call it the L screwdriver. So I use this to get to these screws right in here because the bumper will have to be pulled away um, and get in there easier with this. And this 10mm will be for the bolt there and over here. So 
Uh, we're gonna have to remove the bumper or pull it back. I prefer removing it completely so I don't scratch it up. Um, but after the bumper's off, I'll show you what to take off so you can get the tail light all the way out. I like to start just by removing this piece here. So just pop it up. It has little clips on it on the back side here. You might have to uh, pop them out and then slide them back in if they don't come all the way out. But uh comes out pretty simple. And then there will be a screw here. I ended up putting it right down here uh, in some other little clips and stuff. Just pull that back and you'll have access. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. All right, once you get both sides uh, undone, you can basically just pull it back like this and drop it down, or you can take the bumper all the way off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts right here. You'll remove those, and then the tail light can come out. Make sure to put this bracket back on. It helps align the bumper. That's it. Okay, now that we've got the stock tail light out, as you can see here, there are four Phillips head screws that hold the LEDs in. We're going to go ahead and remove those, and transfer them over to this one, along with these uh, bulbs here, which they did include a pack of orange, so it's street legal. We'll just put the orange bulbs in, so we'll go ahead and get to it. Make sure to pull this clip up before you go any further because it is holding this whole unit down. You don't just want to yank on this and pull it out because this wire is still attached. Just wanted to give you that heads up. Alright, so here's the LED unit. I just went ahead and unplugged the connector. I'm going to transfer that wiring over to this one and then uh, screw this in. I like to hold them like this or wear gloves. You don't want to touch the actual bulb because your oils can actually make the bulbs go out a lot faster. Um, just a, another tip there. And there it is. This now is ready to go back in the car. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and test the blinker and the brake lights. So there's the blinker, and this is what it looks like when you're hitting the brakes. Definitely bright. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and get it all back together. Alright, it's all back together, and I think it looks absolutely amazing with that chrome and black. And they're not smoked anymore. Um, it just fits that matte black finish really nicely. At least I think. I mean, it's my car, so this is how I like it. Looks really good. Definitely a quality uh, tail light. Highly recommend getting them. Now, when you buy these off of eBay, because that's where I got them, they will send you a message saying that these are just the covers or lenses. What they mean by that is it doesn't come with the LEDs. At first, I was thinking that I was having to take mine apart and put these clear pieces in the black bezel in there inside. And I'm like, no, I'm not spending that kind of money for something I still got to cut apart my stock lenses. No, um, it's just that it's missing the LED thing that I showed you how to transfer. So when you get that message, just tell them, you know, hey, it's fine. I understand. Um, but I will eventually get some right here that kind of match this. Um, these up here kind of match. 
so I'm just missing the rear ones now but uh yeah definitely making some progress now I don't know if you guys all watched my live stream but I uh, told everyone on there that I'm eventually gonna be doing the dash cracks what I'm gonna be doing with them is different though I'm eventually gonna be put putting a plastic uh, dash cover on they're really nice uh, you should look them up just go to Google and type in Acura TL plastic dash covers they're really cool I'm probably gonna end up doing that but in the meantime I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fill these cracks in with some type of silicone uh, let it harden and then I'm gonna paint with a paintbrush very carefully and taping it all off uh, inside each one of those cracks it's gonna be green and then I'm gonna put a glow-in-the-dark clear coat over it in the cracks only the rest will stay normal and it'll look like it's glowing like when after I get out in the Sun and go into somewhere darker it'll look like it's glowing like it's radioactive it's just a cool little thing I figured would be cool I'm not gonna pull the whole dash out or anything like that right now maybe in the future uh, but I want to put the plastic dash cover over it eventually I thought it'd be kind of kind of cool to see that kind of looking like it's glowing like it's got kryptonite in it or something just thought that'd be a pretty cool little thing to do but yeah definitely making some progress um, if you guys didn't see the video of me taking this to the dyno I highly recommend watching it it was a hundred degrees in the shop that day and I made 336 wheel horsepower um, a lot of people are like wow that's not very much power but they're not taking into consideration I have heavier wheels on which does drain your horsepower because uh, it has to rotate heavier wheels these wheels were on not the black ones with the polished lip um, last time we went made 331 before I did the intake manifold the exhaust mods and uh, J37 throttle and stuff like that I had the lighter wheels on so that definitely made a little bit difference also on top of that it was 100 degrees versus 76 it was 76 degrees out when I took this to the dyno and made 331 um, and it was 100 degrees 80 to 100 degrees in the shop uh, when I did my first pull which was 332 horsepower and on the second pull it was like a hundred degrees like 101 or 100.1 or something like that and I made 336 horsepower so with that high of a temperature and still making more power I definitely made more power over the 331 tune for sure but uh yeah it's really quick it's super fun daily I'm absolutely loving it I'd love to get it to the track but I'm still quite a ways away from doing all that I need to get some upgraded CV axles uh, and a little bit more money just in case I blow the transmission but uh, it would be fun to take it to the track just see what it makes with the supercharged setup as it is now also I did find out when I was reviewing the data logs from the 331 horsepower uh, dyno pool when I had the black wheels on it I was making 6 psi 6.5 psi um, because it was a cooler day and whenever I took this and made 336 horsepower, I was only making 4.5 to 5. So I was on lower boost and still making more power. So on cool days, this thing feels insanely quick. And I thought, well, it's probably just placebo. It's in my head or something. But turns out I am making more boost when it is cooler for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, absolutely loving it. Today we're going to be going to the uh, Fast and the Furious. Um, it's a car meet. So it's for the Fast 9 movie coming to theaters today. So I'm gonna try to go live then. I don't know if I'll manage. Obviously by the time this comes out, you'll probably know whether or not I'm going live or not. Uh, it'll be within a couple hours or so of this coming out, if I can get it edited in time. But just wanted to uh, give you some update on what's going on. I'm still working really hard at getting a shop so I can actually do more things and get you guys way more content, but right now, it's being really tough. My income has dropped a lot and a lot of other things are going on. So I'm still saving up. I still got money set back. I'm just working on trying to get that shop still, trying to get out in the country. Uh, so that way I don't have to have city ordinances. But either way, making some progress and I love how it looks. But if you guys like this video and you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you're not new to the channel, definitely hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think. I try to read all the comments. Sometimes I don't have time to reply, so I'll just give them a heart and a thumbs up. But um, I appreciate each and every one of you who uh, interact and share my videos around. I greatly appreciate you. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.